Hi, and welcome back to Neural Splendor. Wanted to give you a little update of uh, what I'm thinking for the channel and kind of where I'm going. And I eventually want to talk about uh, after treatment regeneration, kind of do a series on that, because that's probably the number one problem that people have uh, with the engines that are between 2007 and say 2013. And after that, the engines get a little bit better about it. And we'll talk about all those reasons as time goes on. But uh, to, so to do that, I want to go back. Um, there are different platforms. In other words, you've got the um, ISX-15. You have the L9, the QSL9. That's the mid-range engine. You've got the ISM. That's the 10 liter. And you've got the 6.7, the B series. These are all engines that you, you would find on highway and they would have after treatment if they're 2007 or newer. Common Rail actually started about 2003 and a half. It, it first showed up on the B series back in 1998. Cummins came out with what was called the CAPS system, C A P S. That was a uh, fuel pump that had a giant, actually weighed 50 pound steel block bullet on the top of it. And that steel block was actually the first common rail. And that was kind of a uh, complex fuel pump. It still uses, used a rotor assembly in the back because at that time they hadn't perfected the electronic injectors to where they could hold the pressure and fire accurately. So that was all in the works. So you had a mechanical injector with that first uh, common rail system. So uh, that's where we're going to be going. I'm going to go over those engine platforms. And then once I do that, then I'm going to start into the after treatment with the 871. I'm going to try and keep the videos under two minutes, which isn't easy for me. You probably know I'm a talker. So we'll get started here, and thanks for following me, and uh, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe, because in the long run, that will help me. When I retire, I plan to do continue to do this, and um, even develop some more things that will help you to learn the things that I've learned over a lifetime of working on Cummins engines.